Hello guys, welcome back. In today's video, we are going to learn something very important. That is how to create a subdomain in Hostinger. I will explain in simple words what a subdomain is, why we need it, what are its benefits and finally, I will show you step by step how you can create a subdomain inside Hostinger. So let's get started. First, let's understand the meaning of subdomain. A subdomain is like a child or branch of your main domain. Your main domain is like your home and subdomains are like different rooms inside your home. For example, here cyphosis.com is my main domain and you can see ask.cyphosis.com. So ask is my subdomain for the main domain cyphosis.com. I can create some more subdomains like blog or shop and they will become a subdomains of cyphosis.com. Now you may ask why do we need a subdomain when we already have a main domain? The answer is subdomains help us organize our website better. Instead of putting everything on the main website, we can create separate sections with their own addresses. For example, here in this subdomain ask.cyphosis.com, I have created question and answers website. Here, a user can create a new account. You, they can ask a question and they can also answer the and they also answer the questions which were posted by some other users. If I post this kind of a website in my main domain, it will get messed up. So they will get confused what actually a main website is. Either it is a technical courses website or question and answer websites. So for that, I have created a subdomain and uploaded a new website for question and answers. This makes websites professional and well structured. Some major benefits of using subdomains are we can separate our blog, store and main website. Here I have separated question and answers from my main website. Visitors find it easy to navigate. So here you can see ask.cyphosis.com is all about is all about question and answers. The next benefit is you can create a subdomain for testing new features before adding them to your main site. For example, in the main domain, I want to create a new feature. So before that, what I can do is I can create a subdomain. For example, def and I will upload the new feature and test it. If it is working fine, then I can integrate it into the main website. And most hosting companies like Hostinger allow you to create subdomains at no extra cost. Now let's go to Hostinger and create a subdomain. First step is open your browser and go to hostinger.in. Log in with your email and password. I have already logged in with my email and password. After login, you will see the H panel. That is Hostinger control panel. Select your hosting account. So you will see your hosting account or you can see hosting plan. Click on manage. Then select the website of which you want to create a subdomain. I will select cyphosis.com because I want a subdomain for cyphosis.com. Then you can see there is a section domains. Select that one and click on subdomains. Here you will see a search box where you can type your subdomain name. For example, I am typing SMS. This I am creating for Uploading my Laravel project student management system. If you want custom folder for your subdomain, you can check mark this and you can name your folder name. By default, Hostinger will create one for you, like public HTML provided by SMS. Then click on create. And here in the bottom, you can see 
sms.cyphosis.com so it created a sms subdomain for cyphosis.com if you visit this website you will see a blank page or default hostinger page and you can upload your website inside public html sms folder so friends this was the complete guide on subdomains what they are why we need them their benefits and how to create them in hostinger step by step i hope this video was helpful for you if you have any questions drop them in the comments don't forget to like share and subscribe for more tutorials see you in the next video thanks for watching